Esther 9.19 Al Cain HaYehudim HaPerazim HaYoshvim Be'are HaPerazot Osim Et Yom Arba'a Asar Lechodesh Adar Simcha Umishte Ve'yom Tov Umishloach Manot Ish Lerehu so here we begin with therefore, kind of this concluding inference here. Therefore, the Jews, we've seen this before, and then we get this appositional modifier, the ones in the villages or in the open country, the ones who dwell in the cities of the open country. So you see the open country here and here in some way. This one is further modifying the Jews. So the Jews who are in the open country, you can see the im here, im here, and then we get the im here as the ones dwelling in the open country. Here we have the call participle masculine plural of the root yashav. So you can see the ones dwelling there. Then we get they made, this actually is a participle, so we're looking at making or were making, if we want to get that durative ing form. The verbal root here is asa, and you can see the masculine plural participle ending there. Making, what were they making or doing? They were making the day of the 4 and 10, 4 and 10, so here we get 14, so 14 to the month, so this would be the 14th of the month of Adar. And so what they did was they made that day joy and banqueting and a day, a good one, a good day. Now, I think some translations will go with something like uh, holiday right here, but there's another Hebrew word for holiday, chag, and uh, so I don't think we need to go with holiday necessarily, but you, at the very least, it was a good day. And then this does become the holiday of Purim. So we have here, they made the day, the 14th day, a day of joy and banqueting. And this is a contribution or a gift of some sort. Or You can see here the verbal root Shalach. Now, this isn't a technical verbal form, but if you see that, you've got something about like the sending or contributing of a gift, uh, giving gifts, each man to his, third masculine singular, to his friend.